guys, I'm Shannon, and today I'm be doing the Reading Habits book tag. So I'm just gonna jump right into it. Number one, do you have a certain place at home for reading? Um, I do have a reading chair, but normally my cat is in it, and she does not like being moved. So I'll either read at my desk or in my bed, and if it's really nice outside, I'll try to find somewhere outside to cozy up with a book. Number two, bookmark or random piece of paper. At school, I actually got in trouble for ripping off uh, random pieces of paper and stuff like that from like my assignments. So after a teacher threatened to <laughs> basically take my book away every single class, I decided... I'm just gonna like make sure I always have a bookmark with me and to this day I still usually have a bookmark with me. Number three, can you just stop reading or do you have to stop after a chapter or certain number of pages? I cannot just stop reading. I have to wait until the end of the chapter or a paragraph or something like that or like a break in, in the uh, text before I can stop reading, especially if it's like a really good book. Number four, do you eat or drink while reading? Not really. Sometimes I drink. I don't normally eat because I'm afraid of like spilling it on the book. And if I'm drinking something, it's normally like tea or water, not anything like soda that will make the book sticky if it like spills on it. I try to be really careful with my books because I don't really want to spill anything on them or uh, have to like get, go out and get a new one or anything like that. Uh, I am kind of loosening up with some of the books that I read and starting to maybe eat around them and stuff like that. But I just don't normally like doing that. I just feel weird. Number five, multitasking music or TV while reading. Sometimes music, never TV. I can't concentrate with the TV on. It just, it pierces my concentration bubble. It, I just can't do it. Uh, music, instrumental usually, or just like nothing at all. Uh, sometimes I have problems with daydreaming with music. Like, you know how you hear like a certain song and you just start thinking about something else entirely? So I do have that problem every once in a while. So normally I just listen to instrumental stuff if I really want to listen to music. Or if like I'm out in public or something like that and I feel really like, weird, I'll put my headphones in and I'll listen to music while reading. Number six, one book at a time or several at once? Normally one at a time. I am trying to get into reading a little bit more and really trying to like focus on it because I have those moments in my life that it gets really, really busy and I just, I don't read and I don't really like those moments because reading is where I just kind of like can focus on me and something that I like doing and it's kind of like going months at a time without having me time. I am planning in November to be doing a like uh, read a book a week sort of deal and see how long I can go on with that and I am starting to get into art audiobooks a little bit more. I'm starting to like multitask, you know, while I'm cleaning my room I'll listen to audiobooks, while I'm in the shower I'll listen to audiobooks, um, while I'm doing, you know, um, uh, journaling, I'll listen to audiobooks. So I am starting to get into audiobooks a little bit more and really trying that out. I, I keep trying audiobooks and it's not really clicking. So I am really careful with what I listen to. Um, I'm usually listening to like juvenile fiction and like middle grade fiction, you know, short little things that I actually still really love. And it, it just, it's nice and short and it kind of keeps me entertained because it's a bit more fast paced. That's basically what I'm doing at the moment and I'm starting to read a little bit more and listen a little bit more. When it comes to physical books, I normally only read one at a time because if I'm going somewhere, dragging around all these books to see like what I'm in the mood for doesn't really make sense and I just kind of like focusing on that one book at a time. But if I do have something to read for school then obviously I'll be reading that as well so I'll, it depends on kind of like school and life and stuff like that. Number seven, reading at home or everywhere. I can read everywhere. I think one of the great things about having one of the loudest classes to go through the school is that you learn to tune things out while you're reading. And that is not a title that I have given my class. That is a title that every single teacher that my class has gone through has said. Yeah, I definitely learned to tune people out and I can read pretty much anywhere. I cannot deal with like piercing sounds though, you know, like uh, a consistent like tapping, like I can't, I can't read with that. That would drive me insane. But now that I'm doing like online classes and everything like that, I am reading more at home and I don't really like like going out just to read, I'll just stay at home because it's more comfortable and I could be in like my pajamas. Whereas if you're out in public and you're in pajamas, every once in a while someone gives you like a weird look. Number eight, reading out loud or silently in your head. Silently, I hate reading out loud. I feel like I sound really weird and like I know it helps like comprehension and stuff like that. So sometimes I'll read like my textbooks out loud, but when it comes to like personal reading, silently in my head, I just, I hate reading out loud. I don't like it. 
I think it has something to do with like the embarrassment factor when it came to school and having to read out loud. Also, I was the new kid and I have a weird accent because of where I used to live. Um, I have like a mix of a northern and a southern accent. So when I was little, it was like really prominent and people would, basically people would just walk up to me and ask me to say things because I thought it was funny. And um, I really became self-conscious of how I spoke. Now that I've gotten older, I don't think I really have too much of an accent, but I, every once in a while I'll say something and someone will give me like a, a strange look or uh, they won't quite understand what I'm saying. And it's just because of that a mix. And I picked up different nuances uh, to the words. So so that's why I also don't like reading out loud. Number nine, do you read ahead or skip pages? I do sometimes. Like if I get really excited for a book and I like, I really want to know what happens next. Sometimes I'll like skim like really quickly. Like technically I'm reading, but I'm, I'm also kind of not because I'm skimming like really fast because I want to get to that part. But also if I am like really bored with the book and I'm like, does this get any better? Like, is there a break in this? I will also skip pages and go like a chapter ahead and I will like skim through and see if anything interesting is coming up because I just need to know if I need to put the book down now or if I can push through it until this part. Number 10, breaking the spine or keeping it like new. I try to keep my books like new, but it really depends on the book. There are some books like the really fancy covers from like Barnes and Noble or like maybe a special edition of a book that I bought, like uh, the Harry Potters back there that are the house editions. I do try to keep those like new and I don't really um, take them off the shelf too many times or anything like that and I try to keep everything pretty and clean and everything like that with them. Now there are other books that I like I picked up used or I honestly just don't really care that much about a bo the book or maybe I, I know that it's not like a, a special cover or something like that or I didn't spend a lot of money on it so I will like break the spines and normally it's with romances like they print the text so close to the spine of the book that you have to like break them to read. Although I am trying to take better care of my books because you know I'm spending money on them and I do care about them so I am kind of trying to be more conscious of how I treat my books. Number 11, do you write in your books? It depends on the book because I did write when I was in my AP classes. I wrote in like Pride and Prejudice and I think um, Hamlet. I wrote in those because my teacher was talking with us and we were having like class discussion so I would like write little things in the book but sometimes I just don't have like a pencil with me or the text is just so close together there's not really like a lot of space to write so normally I have like a notebook and I'll just like keep little notes in there if I really want to take notes on something so that's the end of the tag let me know if you guys have done this tag what your thoughts are what your habits are I would love to talk to you guys I hope you're having an amazing day and I'll see you again soon